Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so apparently you guys are really interested in some Windows 10 tweaks and optimizations for audio. I've gotten some comments and some emails. So we're going to be doing that. And it's going to be fun. So we have our control panel here. Uh, and you're going to want to go to power options. We're going to be doing power options today because things, the motherboard or like the system, you know, turning things off or on. Uh, is not a good thing and it can cause problems. So we're going to open up power options. I'm going to select high performance and then change plan settings. Uh, set, uh, I just have my, my display set up to 50 minutes, put power to uh, compare sleep never. You're going to want to go change advanced power settings. So you're going to want to go through hard disk, turn off hard disk after. <coughs> I have mine set to one minute. Um, and that's because I want my mechanical hard drives to kind of turn off after they boot up after one minute. I don't usually access them. My other hard drives, which I read samples from, and my Windows, blah, 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 are SSDs. And as far as I know, that those kind of don't need to, you know, stay on. Um, they're accessed kind of immediately. As far as I know, um, I could be wrong. Someone else in the comments will say otherwise but you know so far it's uh working quite well um so have that set to if you have a mechanical driver or using a laptop i'd have that set to never or zero um and that'll keep it keep your uh your hard disks on indefinitely so they don't need to speed up in order to read a sample um you're going to want to go, if you're using a laptop, the wireless adapter settings, power saving mode, you want to have it set to maximum performance. You don't want the wireless adapter to turn off or on or anything like that. Sleep, we'll leave that. USB settings, this one's important. A lot of things around you run off USB. Your sound card uh, also might be running off USB or running through the USB hub. And what the USB selective suspend does is... It basically saves power by turning off USB ports when they're not being used. And that can cause problems. Um, when you're installing a virus TI control, it'll ask you to disable that. So it's good to have that disabled. Um, PCI Express, uh, Link uh, State Power Management, have that set to off. Processor Power Management, what this, what this does is you want your maximum processor state to be 100 and your minimum processor state to be 100. I have mine set to 10 because in the EUFI I have it set differently. I don't know why, but you know you can verify that mine is pegged at 3 uh, gigahertz down here. Um, you don't want your your clock speed to go up and down because you know it kind of you know. Uh, with with speed step, it can cause dropouts, as far as I know. So it's good to have your, your CPU um, pegged, the maximum frequency. Um, even if it's uh, at the maximum frequency and you're not doing that much, it doesn't really increase heat. It just kind of increases frequency. As far as I know, it's good to have that set to 100%. Do as I, do as I say, not as I do. And uh, there you have that. Um, so we will go back to control panel and we're going to go, we're going to go to system because this is kind of important system device manager. And you get this little pop-up gentleman here. <coughs> Sorry, got cold. You're going to want to go to, uh, your USB devices. I have quite a few hubs here. You're going to want to go through all of these one by one, right click, select properties, go over to power manager and, uh, allow uncheck allow this computer to turn off this device to save power you want to go through basically everything um, because you don't want you know thing like the computer to decide that oh this isn't a priority anymore you want it everything to run quite well um, and that is your basic power settings um, and that's probably like yeah that's this the first thing to do you want maximum frequency on your CPU at all times and your hard drives always ready to go in case you know something comes up um, and this is uh, valid for all DAWs and all uh, DJ software and anything that kind of handles um, low latency high highly critical audio 
Um, it helps if you're running a 5960, like an octo core like me, but you know, this is basically how you do it. And uh, yeah, while we're here, if you're using a FireWire, make sure it's Texas Instruments. Make sure that the 1394 FireWire is Texas Instruments. Anyway, that's an aside. Uh, yeah, um, take care and we'll be back.